Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today I wanna to share with you my favorites for December and then also the makeup that I received for Christmas. And then I have two influencer boxes that I wanna do really, really briefly and I'll do those at the end. And I wanna share with you first my December favorites and then the makeup that I received for Christmas from my husband. So the first item I've really been enjoying this past month is the Spatty and Spatty Daddy. <laughs> It's kind of an interesting name, but I purchased these at Bed Bath & Beyond for $9.99 and then I used a 20% off coupon that I received in the mail. So there are two little spatulas and I use these to get out extra product that's kind of hard to get out if you don't have a little spatula. I think this is my favorite, the small one. But I cut open my products and then use these to get out any extra product. And for under $10, I feel like these have kind of paid for themselves because I've been able to use more of my product and get more use out of the items that I'm purchasing, especially when I think of like high-end skincare. And that kind of leads into my next favorite, which has been the Belief, and it's Believe in Truth Creamy Cleansing Foam Moist. And this is a cleanse. I got this in a little set during the 20% off sale for with the Belief Aqua Balm Cream. I really like this. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I like it so much because it's more expensive than like a drugstore cleanser, but this is so hydrating. It just feels really nice when I'm using it. I've just been really impressed. I traveled with this and my skin looked the clearest it had looked in months. And I was using this and then uh, a Sephora cream and I wasn't seeing any breakouts. My skin looked very hydrated, youthful, really enjoying this, and I think I'm gonna have to purchase a full size. I'm gonna work through some of my other cleansers first, but this is the top contender on my list for a repurchase. My next favorite I featured before in my favorites, and these are the Trim Cuticle Cutters. I just find these so helpful. It has a little like razor-like, it's very sharp, but it's like a razor-like V-shaped metal contraption on this side and then this is a cuticle pusher on the other side. I don't use this uh, this plastic side, I just use this. My husband and I, we love these things. They're like five dollars at the drugstore and for me when I feel like I have a little hangnail I can't stop thinking about it and this you just literally swipe and it takes care of the hangnail, there's no picking at it. I just really enjoy these and I wanted to share it with you in case you've never heard of them. It has saved me a lot of pain, <laughs> pain in the fingernails. It's a lot of pain and discomfort from like picking at my uh, cuticles or picking at my hangnails. This just takes care of it so quickly and my husband really enjoys uh, using that too. A blush that I have been really liking and rediscovered was the NARS Madly Blush. It is really pretty and I am trying to pan another blush so I tried mixing these two so that I'd still get use out of the doll face blush from Tarte. So I've been kind of mixing these two, but this one is so pretty, NARS Madly. And I'm not really that big of a fan of the NARS blushes. I do notice that with, the bl with NARS blush, I will get little bumps if I don't wear it on top of a foundation. I don't know if there's like an ingredient in there that doesn't quite work with my skin, but Madly is my last NARS blush. I've decluttered a lot of mine, but I cannot give this up because the color is just so beautiful. I feel like it really works well with my skin tone and I just, I really enjoy how this looks on my cheeks. So I've been mixing these two together because I'm still wanting to get use out of doll face, but then I wanna kinda change it up and have a different look. So NARS Madly, really been enjoying that color blush. My last favorite is Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This is the medium brown one. I also have a soft brown one, but I've really been enjoying this. I felt like before I received this, when other people were talking about it, I'm like, it looks just hard to use and, I don't know, something about it made me hold off for a really long time and I'm really glad that I purchased this. I feel like it's a lot easier to use than I thought. I just have um, a double-ended brush that I use with it. It's this one. I think that I got this at Walmart, but it has a spoolie and I brush through my brows and then I use this little angled brush and I dip it in, I swipe it. I, I mean, it's just a lot easier than I thought it would be to use this product and it lasts all day on my brows. I really like the look of it. So super impressed with the Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I quickly wanna share with you the makeup that my husband had gifted me for Christmas. And I am wearing, I used it all today and I used it yesterday too. This first one's from MAC. It's the Studio Finish Concealer Duo in W10 and NC20. And I've never tried these Studio Finish Concealers before. This one is supposed to be like a brightener, and that's the W10. And it is pink toned, and then this is the NC20. I'm wearing this today, and I did use it yesterday as well. 
I don't really know how I feel about this yet. It's very emollient compared to the Pro Longwear Concealer, which I really enjoy using this one under my eyes. I'm going to use this for a couple more days and I may end up swapping it out for something else at MAC, but it just seems like it's not lasting quite as long on my skin as my OCC concealer for like blemishes. And I don't know, I'm going to keep trying it out, testing it out. If you have any recommendations on setting this or using this, I would love to hear in the comments because I'm kind of struggling with this product and I don't quite know how to work with it because it is more emollient and it is a little bit more creamy. I am setting it with a powder, but I'm still seeing like creasing under my eyes and I'm not using like a ton of the product. So uh, let me know in the comments if you've tried these studio, what are they, studio finish concealers and how you've been using them, what you think of them. Uh, please let me know. The next beauty item that I received for Christmas is the Wayne Goss O2 brush. And I really like the Wayne Goss brushes. This was a nice addition to my collection. Super soft, luxurious. I actually used it today and yesterday to apply highlight and blush. I really like this. It is very soft. It picks up product. It just blends plot product. <laughs> it blends product so easily. I'm super impressed. And I think the O2 brush is a little bit less expensive than some of their other face brushes in the Wayne Goss collection. So I'm really happy with this little guy. And the last makeup item I received for Christmas is this beautiful limited edition Chanel blush. It's in Sunkiss ribbon and it's just so beautiful. I have not purchased any blush for myself this past year for 2015 and I feel like this was such a nice gift. I really like all the different colors. I've worn it with just this pink ribbon right here, like the one that goes all across the blush. Uh, I really liked that and I thought, oh, I'm going to get a little more daring. This was yesterday. So I swirled my bl uh, my brush in it, which I used this one actually, the Wayne Gosso 2. And I applied it and it was a little bit brighter, a little bit more jazzy on my cheeks. I think it picked up quite a bit of this color right here, which is a very red based uh, color. And it kind of reminded me of Tarte's Natural Beauty the way I wore it yesterday. Today I just wore this one right here, which is like a brown, sparkly, almost bronzer type. Uh, but I really like it so far. It is a little bit more scented than some of the other Chanel products that I have. I noticed that uh, when I opened it up on Christmas, it was like kind of very fragranced, but I still really enjoy it. And this is the brush I've been using to apply this. And I really like it because it's smaller. I can get in those smaller colors and use them separately. So uh, those are the three makeup items that John had gifted to me for Christmas. Really fast influencer. They sent me the CoverGirl Vox box. And this is the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip product in caramel. When I first opened it uh, initially, when I saw it, I was like, wow, the packaging is kind of cheap. I don't know, there's something about this white plastic that just kind of looked cheap to me in the color. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll wear that. But then it was a bomb and I was very um, pleased and very happy to see that it wasn't that uh, bright of a color. I have worn this for two days now. And I like it initially when I put it on my lips. My lips feel really hydrated and nice, but within about a half hour, an hour, once the product starts wearing off, my lips feel very, very dry. So I don't know if there's something in this product. And did I say the color was caramel or caramel? Uh, I don't know if there's something in the product that dries my lips out, but I have noticed that my lips are more dry after using this than if I used like an all natural lip balm. And then Influencer also sent me the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara. This retails for around $11, $12 at the drugstore, which I think is a little expensive for a drugstore mascara. I've used this twice. I like it, but I'm not in love with it yet. I feel like it does a great job. I have it on my lashes today. It does do a good job um, really making my lashes look darker and more full, but I feel like for mascara, for me, I have to use it the whole life of the mascara. So three, four months to see if I truly like a mascara and if I'd want to repurchase it. But both of these were sent to me from Influencer for free to test out, see if I like them. And Influencer is a program online and they work with companies to get products in the hands of reviewers and people to test out, to try out and use their social media to kind of uh, talk about products, introduce them to new people, and see you know if you like them or not. Um, you don't have to have YouTube. I actually have a couple of friends who don't have YouTube, and they have done Influencer and received a couple of items, but they do have Facebook and other social media uh, sites. So I'll put a link down below for in Influencer if you're interested in signing up. The last item that I have, or box that I have, is also from Influencer, and I just wanted to open it and uh, unbox because I received it today. Oh. Oh, this is really cute. So this is what's in the box. I haven't even opened it yet. And look at this cute little snowman. 
I'm gonna give this to Athens so I don't want to talk too loud because he's downstairs and I don't want him to see this. This is a cute little like stuffed animal snowman guy so I'll give that to my son. He's four years old and this is a what itty bitty itty bitties. That's the name of it. And it says, oh, it says it's Olaf. Doesn't really look like Olaf to me. The next product is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. It's one ounce. I've never tried the moisturizing cream from this brand before, but I have used the cleanser and I like it, but it's not cleansing enough for me. It's a little bit more moisturizing, but then again, I have that combination oily skin. So I feel like the cleanser would be better for someone with drier skin, but I am gonna test this out and see if I like it. This is the Pure Ice Nail Polish. And it's in this, I don't really like this color, <laughs> but I don't have any pure ice nail polish in my collection, so I will give it a try and see if I like it. And if I don't like the color, I'll pass it on to a friend. This is interesting. This is Biscoff. I think I've had these on an airplane before. And they're little cookies. I think you have them with coffee, like little bis biscottis. So I will test these out in my tea. I don't drink coffee, but I do drink tea. So I'll try it with a chai tea and hopefully I'll enjoy this. Oh, there's one more. So there are three sets of those little Biscoff cookies. And then Kiss True Volume Lashes in Chick. And I really actually like the look of these. I do like to cut my lashes in half and use them as a half lash. Because of the shape of my eye, I just find that more flattering on my eyes and easier to wear. So I will trim these in half. They kind of remind me a little bit of the Demi Wispies from Salon Perfect, but I really like those. So I think I'll enjoy these too. I've never tried the Kiss. Uh, eyelashes before so I'm gonna give those a test and see if I like them. and they also sent the kiss strip lash adhesive in clear and I've never tried their lash adhesive so that'll be good and then this is NYC city proof 24 hour I'm guessing this is a black eyeliner and it's sealed or I do a little swatch for you and show you what it looks like but I will open this and test it out and then there's like a little coupon in here for french fries tater tots <laughs> So my husband will actually really appreciate that. So that was the, what, Jingle Vox Box. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I received for Christmas for beauty makeup items. Uh, I didn't really do my makeup special or anything. I did wear that Chanel blush though because I wanted to kind of spice things up, change it up from the Tarte. A blush that I'm trying to pan. It's kind of nice for the holidays to kind of change things up. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!